All right, guys, so we are gonna get started with our tumbler that has already been prepped and primed. I went ahead and took a 30 ounce skinny straight tumbler, sanded it down, and spray painted it this flat white. Once that was completely dried, I went ahead and mixed up my two part resin from Counterculture DIY. I am using Fast Set so that once we apply our glitter over this, we have a faster curing time and we can go straight in with our next step. Once you've gotten a nice thin coat of resin, evenly spread all over the base of your tumbler you can go in with your glitter and start sprinkling it around so you just want to make sure that you have a really nice thin layer i like to make sure i put a little bit less than what i've used on this tumbler so far when i'm using extra fine glitter just because you do not want your resin to soak up all that glitter but because we are going to be using a chunky glitter i did put just a little bit more so i want to say in total i probably use about 3 ml on this cup and of course do not forget to make sure that your the bottom of your cup is also covered glitter that i'm using for this tumbler today is called tea party it's one of our newest glitters that we just launched on our website so if you guys are new here and you haven't been following me then you probably don't know that every friday i release brand new glitters and i also restock glitters on fridays also so every friday at 8 30 p.m eastern standard time i usually do a brand new drop of colors or i'll bring back some must-have glitters Fridays are the days that you want to visit us on Sugar and Spice Glitter.com so that you can get your hands on any new products or any must have restocks that you have been waiting for us to bring back. So I am using Tea Party. I'm going to sprinkle this baby all over the tumbler. And once I've got a nice, even coverage of that glitter, we're going to move on to my favorite step, which is flattening down that glitter. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that right now. First, shared this tip on Pinterest and back in 2020 and that pin on my Pinterest has been one of the main pins that have gotten the most views like almost 300,000 people have seen this pin and when I tell you that it has been an ultimate game changer for me whenever I learn this it is one that I continue to teach and share with everybody because if you're working with glitter tumblers this is like a must-have technique so first of all you want to take your cup and you want to put it on a piece of parchment paper this will work with other types of paper also i just like to do parchment paper and as you can see i'm kind of rolling my cup inside of that parchment paper while running my hands back and forth to smooth it out i'm not pushing the glitter all around i'm not using a ton of force but i'm using enough force to just flatten that glitter and i tell you it is going to make adding resin on top of your chunky glitter the easiest it has ever been so if you haven't used that tip I implore you to use it and you are going to thank me later. So now that our resin is cured, it is time for some fun. And I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys. I actually shared this tumbler on my Instagram, which is what encouraged me to create a YouTube video for this tumbler because I got so much love on this tumbler and this technique. And I love working with alcohol inks and I love sharing all the different ways that you can work with alcohol inks on not only tumblers, but but alcohol inks can be mixed in with resin. You can put them on paper. I mean, I've seen so many beautiful things and creations used with alcohol ink. So anyways, I was not sure what I was going to originally do with this tumbler. And it was kind of sitting there for a while. And then I was finally like let's play with some inks. So I grabbed my Bray Reese inks that I love. And of course, these are neon because you guys know I love neon colors. So we're going in with this neon pink. And I'm just starting with a little a couple of drops at the top of my cup. And I'm bringing that ink down. Now these um, nozzles on this alcohol ink, they are wide, but you can purchase smaller nozzles for more detailed work if you want to just haven't gotten around to getting those myself but um i'm using the ink and i'm just applying dot by dot just so that we can get that ink to kind of absorb into the glitter and we're going to be doing a geode pattern using neon alcohol inks so i am starting with my pink like i said this is neon pink by brea rose sorry Bray Reese and we are going to after after going in with the pink I'm going to be going straight in with the yellow and instead of going in with orange I decided to go in with the yellow because as you'll see right now with the yellow once it touches the pink it's going to turn 
orange. So you don't really need to go in with your orange because the yellow and the pink are going to fuse together and they are going to make this beautiful shade of orange. And I just love how it all blends and melts in together. So I am going to continue doing this same exact method with all the colors that I've chosen to use today and in this video. And I'm going to just let you guys see how I apply it. And the funny thing and the, the cool thing is that you don't really have to be super picky um you kind of just let the alcohol inks do its thing it's going to spread it's going to go in the direction that it wants to go and you can kind of just dot on your inks wherever you want them but alcohol ink has a mind of its own and it's going to do its own thing and i absolutely love to see the difference um in what they create every single time so as you can see here, I did a similar thing with the blue like I did with the yellow. Instead of going straight in with the green after the yellow, I went in with the blue so that once it touches the yellow and fuses together, it creates that green color. So I really love doing it. It helps save a lot of products. So instead of having to go in with every single color, um, you just use your primary colors and then those will blend in together and create um those secondary color patterns. So I went in with neon pink, neon yellow, neon blue, and now I'm going in with a purple shade from Bray Reese. Now, if you have any questions on anything that I've been using so far, you can find all the names of the products that I'm using in the description of this video down below, along with links and any discount codes that you can use to save on any of the products that I am mentioning today. So now that we're done with the first part of our cup, I decided to put another little geode, neon geode at the bottom of the and the back of the tumbler. And I'm going in with those same exact colors and we're just gonna quickly fast forward through here. Um, and then once you're done applying all of your alcohol inks, you do wanna let this dry completely for at least 24 hours. And then we are going to go in and seal all of this with a spray sealer before going in with our resin. Because if you go in too quickly and you don't seal and you go in with your resin, you do have a chance of that alcohol ink bleeding and spreading all over the cup and we don't want that okay so we're gonna just quickly go through here we're gonna let this alcohol ink sit again we're gonna seal as soon as it's dry after 24 hours and then we can move on to the next step and oh my goodness look at how this beauty sparkles in the sun i'm absolutely obsessed with this color combination tea party and these alcohol inks perfection that are wondering this is the krylon color max clear sealer that i am going to be using to seal in that ink once we've done a quick seal using this product right here i'm going to go ahead and let that dry for at least an hour before i go in with my top coat of resin so after I sprayed it, I did a couple of sprays with my clear sealer and I let that completely dry for about an hour. And now we are ready to apply our resin. Now this is a big tumbler. We have about 32 ounces of stainless steel and glitter and alcohol inks. So I am going to be whipping up 40 mLs of fast set resin from counterculture diy and after i've mixed that up i'm going to just spread it evenly all over the tumbler so even though i did wait for the alcohol inks to dry for 24 hours and i did go in with the spray sealer i'm still taking an extra step to be really careful making sure that these colors that i've added do not bleed so i'm applying my resin to the white portion of my tumbler only and then once i've got that all spread out onto the white portion i am then going to move my resin to the colored portion of the cup so even though i mean you could probably Probably go straight in with your resin all over the tumbler this is just an extra step I'm taking to be really careful because I really really do not want that alcohol ink to bleed into the white part of my cup so I do want to let you know that I went in with two coats of the counterculture facet the first layer like I said earlier was 40 mls and then the second layer was about 20 mls so now that both of those layers are nice and cured it's time to sand the bottom and top rim of my cup as well as any parts along the body that may be sharp or bumpy 
So I like to start with the bottom rim and I just go over with a very light sand because we are using chunky glitter and what I'm trying to avoid is sanding away any color from our alcohol inks or any of the glitter. So I'm rubbing my finger along the bottom rim of the tumbler and then just going in those areas with a very light sand. Now once I'm done with the bottom rim, I turn the cup around and start to sand around the top rim of my tumbler as well. Doing the same motion where I'm going lightly around with the sanding block and then feeling with my fingers just to make sure everything feels nice and smooth. Now once I'm done with the top and bottom rims, I put my hand inside the tumbler and I feel along the body of my cup and I sand down anywhere that I feel is a little bit more rough. Uh, I'm taking my time and just going along the top and bottom rims again, feeling along the way, looking at my cup and making sure that everything is nice and smooth so that we have a smooth surface for our decal. Okay, so now we are ready to apply our decal and I just wanted to put a really nice like minimalistic quote on this tumbler because it has a lot going on already with the color. So I wanted to keep the quote very simple, but I am using this really beautiful rainbow ombre vinyl by Tech Wrap, and I will have a link in the description down below so you can know where you can find it. I really thought that this vinyl would be perfect for this tumbler because the color and everything just matches the alcohol ink so perfectly so i wanted to put a quote that i felt really resonated with me and it says be your own kind of beautiful i truly believe that beauty is in the eye of the beholder and we are set to so many standards now with social media and the ideal of what beauty looks like and so this tumbler is just to share with you guys that you can be your own kind of beautiful without the pressures of social media and what other people tell you is beautiful okay so now it's time to apply the vinyl to the cup and i'm gonna be putting it on like on a slant here and i'm so excited because i think it's gonna look so beautiful so i'm just making sure that the um, transfer sheet is on there really nicely and then i'm going to just apply it on a slant to this cup my thought process was like oh am I doing it the right way? Should I put it up and down? Should I put it in a slant? I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing, but let's just go with it and go with my original idea, which was to have it on a slant on this cup. And I think that it really came out so nicely. I mean, if you don't like the placement of the vinyl, you can always, um, you know, choose your own way to apply the vinyl, but I think it really tied in the design on this cup so perfectly. Once we got it on, it's time to let it sit for about 10 minutes. You can go ahead and seal it with some spray sealer or some counterculture DIY quick coat, and then we can resin over it. So I am using 30 mLs of resin to go ahead and cover this entire tumbler. And I wanted to make sure that I put enough resin so that the vinyl is covered completely. And um, did I mention I'm using facet? I'm using facet again for this layer. And then once the cup is completely covered in facet, I am going to go in with with a final layer of their regular artist resin so yeah i'm just spreading on my resin all over evenly and then literally that is it for this cup you can go ahead and do a final sand after this first layer of fast set make sure that your rim is nice and clean on both the top and bottom everything is nice and smooth the decal is completely covered once that's done you want to move on to your final layer of resin and that is it and I am beyond obsessed with how she turned out the colors, how they blend, the final, everything is just perfect to me. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys next time.